Alright you guys, it is a new year and I know a lot of us are going to be looking for ways to start a healthy and clean diet or maintain the diet that we already have. So today I'm going to show you guys two of my favorite chia seed recipes and share some health benefits with you. I purchase my chia seeds from my local health food store and I do buy them by the pound and then I keep them in this plastic bag and store that in my refrigerator. You can purchase chia seeds everywhere nowadays from your local drugstore to your local grocery market and even online. Chia seeds are a super seed with amazing benefits. They contain omega-3 fatty acids, which are great for brain health and a variety of other benefits. They have plenty of fiber in them. They have 10 grams of fiber and only two tablespoons, so that's great for digestion. And they also help keep you full. Between the protein, the fiber, and the gelling action, they'll keep you satiated throughout the day, which can help lower your food cravings. For more benefits, definitely check out the link to my blog below. I'm using black chia seeds today, but they also come in white as well as a dark brown color. The first thing we're going to make is a chia seed gel. To do that, you're going to need a container, and you'll go ahead and put your chia seeds into your container as well as add your water. I will have the measurements listed down below in the description box for everything that I've made in this video. And you can see here, this is what it'll look like. You can go ahead and shake it up if you want to. You don't have to, but I like to shake mine. You're going to go ahead and take this mixture and put that in your refrigerator for at least four hours or so. Once you've done that, you can see this is what it'll look like. When you add them to liquid, they do get this gelatinous texture and they expand to about nine times their size. This is what you end up with. Don't get scared off by the texture. This is great stuff. You can add it to your yogurt. You can add it to your smoothies. You can add it to your protein shakes. Your options are really endless with this. You can be creative with it. And it's great to have on hand pre-made. Go ahead and throw a label on it. Date it. You can keep this in your refrigerator for four to five days. Next, we'll make the chia seed blueberry lemonade. I've already pre-made my lemonade and I have it here in this mason jar. To sweeten my lemonade, I use this Skinny Girl Monk Fruit because I was out of stevia, so I picked this up at Wally World. It's just a little squeeze top and you can squirt that in and add to taste. And then I also use the juice from two lemons. Next, go ahead and add in some whole blueberries just because it makes your drink look party. Go ahead and add in some of your chia seed gel. In this blender, I have some chia seeds, whole blueberries as well as some of the lemonade and I just blend that up so that way I get all of the blueberry flavor as well as some of that pretty color. Go ahead and add that mixture back into your lemonade, shake it up and you have a delicious blueberry chia seed lemonade. You can change up the flavor, strawberry, raspberry, whatever you like. Next we'll make the Chunky Monkey chia seed pudding which is great for breakfast, a snack or dessert. You'll need chopped walnuts, cocoa powder, chia seeds ripe bananas that are super sweet and I'm using coconut milk but you can use whatever type of milk you prefer. If you notice I didn't add any sweetener to this just because I think with the ripe bananas it's sweet enough for me but if you want to you can add any sort of sweetener you prefer or you can also add dates which work really well and are completely natural and sweeten this up very nicely. So go ahead and add your milk, your banana, and your cocoa powder into your blender and blend that up. You can see this is what it looks like here. Go ahead and add in your chia seeds and blend that up as well. Once you've done that, this is what you will end up with and you can see that the chia seeds are mixed throughout. Go ahead and pour that mixture into a container. And I'm just showing you guys here that you can see that it's already thickened up a little bit. It's only been, you know, a few minutes, but it's already started to thicken. Go ahead and place some saran wrap over that and you're going to put this in the refrigerator at least overnight. I like to do that to make sure that my chia seeds don't have any bite or crunch to them. And this is what you end up with. Super yummy and thick and delicious. You can see if I turn it over, it does not spill out. I like this texture. I like mine nice and thick, but if you don't want it this thick, you can add less chia seeds or you can add more liquid. 
A lot of people say the texture is comparable to tapioca pudding, but I've never had that, so I cannot say for sure, but I can tell you that it's yummy and delicious and banana-y and chocolatey and just really, really good and clean. You can eat it right out of the container like this and we'll make about two to four servings, depending upon how hungry you are, or you can get fancy with it and add some chopped walnuts and a banana on top. The options are endless with this as well. You can try a variety of flavors and I would love to see what you guys come up with. If you try this out, you can tag me on Instagram or Twitter, or you can definitely add a picture to my Facebook page as well, but I would love to see your recipes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of this video or what are some of your favorite chia seed recipes. Feel free to share and if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not yet. I do have new videos out every Sunday and sometimes a bonus video in between. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until my next video, assalamualaikum. Peace.